Monday and it's the first like pre day in a few days. We've been having like a rainy season here in Atlanta. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, I did decide to incorporate more vlogs onto my channel this year. I don't know how regular they will be because I don't really want to share like everything in my life, but I realized through Vlogmas that I can still vlog and not get too personal. So that is what we're gonna do. Today I'm on my way to do a little bit of shopping and some errands. I need some new hair products and I also want to go to is it TJ Maxx, Home Goods, one of those? Um, and look for some Ray Dunn because my girl Tan from the Dugout Mom, I will link her channel down below. She is really into Ray Dunn and I kind of want to get into it. So, today my goal is to at least find one piece of Ray Dunn. Hopefully, all the gals have not gotten it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. And then I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna do my nails. I have to film some content, I have some phone calls to make, some work to do. I did wanna tell you guys about the scent I'm wearing today. It's called My Sweet Dark Fantasy. Amazing, it's so freaking good. It's a dupe for Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad, but it smells like a little more fresh and powdery on me. I am obsessed with it, I love it so much. Um, I'll put a picture in this vlog, but it's so nice. I will link the product down below. It's amazing. I've been wearing it for at least a few weeks now, and it's so pretty. I just love those fragrances so much. I'm not wearing anything exciting today. I have on a workout outfit, my Uggs, and a denim jacket. It's about 65 today. We never really got a winter here in Atlanta, so yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, I don't really have anything else to talk about. I'll see you guys when I get to my destination. These are my favorite shoes, you guys. First stop is Ulta. It feels so weird being out in public and vlogging again. I feel awkward. <laughs> Come in here. Want to hunt though? I think this is what my friend wanted. Let me see. Everybody comes to TJ Maxx on Sunday. Not too much. She doesn't go shopping in store. And I'm not seeing anything that I want. And it's getting hot. You know, Valentine's Day is coming, so I have to look for something for my baby. Even though she doesn't need a thing. <sighs> she loves this. Okay, so first Ray Dunn experience. This lady probably thinks I'm coming out. You guys, that was uh, very interesting. So, if you don't know, I'm not an in-person shopper. <laughs> I like online shopping. Uh, that was too much. Not only did they not have what I was looking for, but my store is smaller and so like, the aisles are really tight. And when you're a plus size woman, it's just like, I don't have time to be sucking in my stomach to try to squeeze by people. Like, that's a bit much. So, 
yeah Ray Dunn was a bust <laughs> and um, the item I wanted to get for my friend they didn't have so yeah I'm just gonna continue on with my errands I'm not going to worry about getting any right done because the gals were like obsessing over it and that was just a lot for me. Like it's just pottery and containers and mugs and that was a lot. <laughs> My friend saying we're going to have to find us a store midway. We can totally make a day out of it. Okay, maybe I need to go to that store because this one was a mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will share with you guys the um, hair care products I got. When I get home, I'm gonna go to Sally's and I might have somewhere else to go. But yeah, I'll chat with you guys when I get home. You wanna say hi? Say hi, mama. Say hello, people. You don't want to say hi, Chloe? Wow, Chloe, this is very disrespectful. Everybody always asks about you. You guys, she does not like being on camera. You're not gonna be nice to your to your supporters, Chloe? <laughs> She's not having it. Sorry. Okay, so. Hello. I wanted to share with you guys the things that I got from the store today. Just Sharpie in my pocket. First of all, I want to tell you guys that I've been loving this uh, YSL wallet on chain. I'm not sure if that's the exact name. I will link this back down below. As you can see, I wore it today with my workout clothes. I am just loving this bag. I carry it like this. I carry it over my shoulder. I do a crossbody. Now, it's one of these crossbodies for me. But if I'm in a pinch and I'm out and I just want it really close to my body, I don't mind. I went to Sally's because today is nail day and this is the acetone that I use to remove my gel manicure. Then I went to Walmart and I picked up two packs of hangers. If you guys watch Vlogmas, you know that I am still in the process of going through my closet and getting rid of everything that no longer fits, no longer serves me, or isn't my style. And um, in doing so, I'm also trying to just really organize my entire wardrobe and because I keep shopping, <laughs> I never have enough hangers. So hopefully I will be okay. Um, and with getting rid of more things, I shouldn't need any new hangers. So, Ulta, they're having their leader sale. Now, I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up, but it will be, the sale will be going through the 25th of January. And I needed to pick up some new hair care and I got one of these little Happy Her gift cards for Christmas. And so I decided, let me splurge on some hair care. So, first thing I got is this Bedhead Urban Antidotes shampoo. This is for damaged, weak, brittle hair that needs intervention. I first found out about this the last time I went to the salon because my stylist used the conditioner and it smelled, well, it was either the shampoo or the conditioner. You guys, this smells so good. It smells very fruity very fresh it smells like fruit punch so i needed new shampoo so i decided to pick this up this was actually on sale for like 13 bucks i might go back and buy another one just because i like to have 33 ounces just so that this can last way over a year and then the conditioner that i picked up is the purology hydrate line and this is for dry color treated hair. Um, this really helps to moisturize my hair without making it feel greasy. Um, so this is the Pureology Hydrate line. I do love this line. I have used this before. I just started using it after I took like a year and a half or two year hiatus. So these are the new hair care products that I picked up and I will of course review them and probably do an updated hair care routine either like in the beginning part of the year. So that's everything I picked up from the store. I think now I'm getting ready to make some lunch. 
now I'm gonna get ready and make some lunch. It's about 2.30, it's definitely a late lunch, uh, but that's okay. So I did receive an air fryer for Christmas and I'm super, super excited about it. I have used it a few times. This is the Gourmia air fryer. So far I've only made uh, wings in it. You guys know wings is one of my favorite fun keto foods. So today I'm gonna be using it to make some steak and shrimp and I'll show you guys how I do that. Just wanna make something super quick and easy and honestly, everything in the air fryer is super quick and easy because it's just a really easy device. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for ways to efficiently cook your meals. Now, I'm going to season my steak with probably garlic, pepper, and onion. And then I'm going to use a mixture of my ponzu chili sauce. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I talked about this a few weeks ago. I'm obsessed, I love it so much. It's great if you stretch it and add like oil to it and use it as a marinade. It's perfect, I've used it on chicken, on gyoza. Love it, love it, love it. I might also use some of my Dale's steak seasoning. Let me show you that. So this is my Dale's steak seasoning. Um, I got this idea from my girl Severe and it's like a soy sauce based marinade and seasoning. So I think these would really complement each other nicely. So I'm gonna throw these on my steak and shrimp and put them in the air fryer. I know it looks rather interesting, but I just have the Dale's steak seasoning and the ponzu sauce on it. I'm going to put it into my air fryer. It turns on. Now the great thing about this is that it already has like programmable features. So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna press menu and I'm gonna go to steak, which is right there. So it's gonna cook it on 400 for 12 minutes. And then I'm gonna press the power button and it is going to start cooking. You can open it while it's cooking to turn it over, add more seasonings, drain it and what have you. Now I believe this did come with a strainer for the bottom but I don't use it. I like my food to be marinating and cooking in the seasonings and all the drippings so that's why I kept it on. So yeah, I will come back and show you guys what the steak looks like when it's done. Uh, when the steak is done, I'm going to pop the shrimp in and the shrimp will be super easy because that cooks super quickly. So yeah, quick, easy, meal perfect for when you've been out all day running errands i think while this is cooking i'm going to soak off my nails and multitask and get things done on a sunday <laughs> Okay, so here's what my steak and shrimp looks like. It smells so delicious. I've actually plated my food, so that's why there's only two pieces of steak and a little bit less shrimp. Um, but yeah, I'm going to dip the shrimp on my plate in my ramekin. Love a good ramekin. <laughs> that is the ponzu chili sauce. So yeah, this is going to be my dinner for tonight and my lunch for tomorrow. Um, I'll have it with a salad or maybe some, no, I'm gonna have it with some spinach that I have in the refrigerator. So yeah, this will be my lunch, quick and easy. It took about 20 minutes total to probably make and it tastes delicious. So I will um, list all the things that I use down below in the description box. Hello guys. It is about 11 p.m. on Sunday. I just realized I totally forgot to finish vlogging. Uh, oh, I did do my nails. This is d, &D Shade 496. The color is Ballet Slippers. I'll include it down below. I love this pink. It's like my favorite baby pink um, and it came out super, super nicely. So yeah, I did my nails. I had to go film content. I went and worked out. Um, lots of new things coming to my channel. And by the time you guys are watching this vlog, you will have seen the new intro. Um, just a lot of things that I'm working on to upgrade the channel. Let me upgrade ya. So yeah, a lot of things I've been working on this year to upgrade my channel. 
and it's gonna be raining for like the next five days so i've been working super hard to film content and take pictures and get things done while the sun is out because we're entering another rainy season coming up <laughs> so yeah i don't want to end the vlog here because i feel like it was very short so i will come back during the week and vlog some content for you guys but yeah i just wanted to check back in because i definitely abandoned you guys and i didn't mean to do that i also just bought a pair of boots online um it's one of my christmas gifts somebody bought me a pair of boots that i wanted i will insert a picture here uh they are a pair of I can't remember I'll put the name across the screen uh, but when I got them in white well he got the wrong color <laughs> I've never worn white boots um, I don't know I guess he wasn't fully paying attention so he got me white boots um, I wanted to just return them and get the same boots but then I was like uh, I don't really need two pairs of boots because I wanted to get the boots that I just purchased insert picture here which are the doc martin boots shout out to my girl love charisma because she actually has these boots and i was going to get the traditional 1460 doc martin boot but when i saw love charisma's uh review of the boots i was like that's so different from something that i would normally pick but it's so my style now like i told you guys in my style videos that i love pairing different pieces that aren't necessarily my feminine style but i like pairing them with feminine pieces i think it just looks a little more interesting so i decided i don't need two pairs of combat boots so i'm returning the labani boot all i know is the name of it <laughs> and i'm gonna get the dark martin one so i just bought those online today and maybe by the time this video is out you guys would have already seen the doc martin video um so yeah that's like one of the few things that i bought myself for, well i didn't buy myself for christmas he bought it for me for christmas but that's one of my christmas presents so i'm sure you guys will see those boots when they come in but yeah i just wanted to close out today's vlog hopefully there will be more clips um after this video i was talking to my girl tan after my failed ray dunn attempt and we're gonna go out looking for ray dunn um sometime soon before she has her baby so i'm excited about that i really want a valentine's day ray dunn mug and i told her i was just gonna look on ebay but then she told me absolutely not because they're super marked up and i went and looked and they really are so i'm gonna be patient which is something that i'm also trying to work on in 2020 because your girl she doesn't have patience she really doesn't but i'm trying <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys another day this week if anything happens okay. let me check and see if i do have okay them. thank you in public so i ended up getting the 10 i don't know where to look the 10 feels good they just feel so chunky but i think it's because i'm not used to this style but i'm happy i'll finally have my boots would you like to be in my vlog i would love to be in your vlog say hello to my friend <laughs> we are at let me show you guys what it looks like it's called agency social tech social social tech, tech. social tech yeah but it's spelled really weirdly yeah i just learned how to pronounce it like an hour yeah i was saying social fake, fake. <laughs> same we're on the vlog hello hey. i love these ladies wait where's the camera um oh, right hi. here <laughs> but i didn't think it would be this cool like there's music inside there's I african americans oh, yeah like you'd almost think it's like a lounge club type. i'm excited oh, so i can't get my Okay, so I did a bun and then I just keep wrapping the hair around the bottom. Come on, so that hair. Right here. I'll show you when I take it down.
okay guys so this restaurant is really good the brussels sprouts are amazing i've never had brussels sprouts so good the drinks are good it's a cute ambiance i would highly suggest it and the music is great realized that I forgot to end the vlog yesterday um, after we came from the hookah lounge I was just so tired I went straight to bed but we had such a great time it's always so nice when my friends and I get together we have the best time it's always so fun and positive and just amazing so that was really nice oh I do have on clothes <laughs> today is wash day so we're super super casual um, I will be doing an updated hair care routine and favorites video. Probably not routine because I just did a straightening routine. But I will be doing an updated hair care favorites video um, because every year the products that I use tend to change. And with those new products that I got, I'm loving them so far. Um, I just want to share with you guys my full updated routine. So I'm going to close the vlog out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was... A continuation vlog hopefully you enjoyed that also hopefully the videos last night weren't too dark i guess i will see when i am editing this but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye